Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and I'm going to use my green witch tarot. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Hangman, and overall energy is Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's a new project that you want to start. I feel like there's something that that you're like you're you're headed towards or you're heading towards or that there's like a new business or there's something new that you want to start, but I feel like you're ha you're feeling challenged by it. I kind of feel like there's some things that you need to finish before you get started on on something else. I kind of feel like there there's something that needs to um I almost feel like there's something that you have to complete before you have to before you can fully move on. There's some sort of blockage here for you. There's some kind there's something that like you know what you want to do and like you want to start something, but I feel like you're holding yourself back from something. Or there's something that you started. There's something that you started and I feel like you like there's something that you started and it was moving along but then I almost feel like you're like do I take it to the next level and do I move forward or or do I end it here? I feel like it's something that you started that that was successful and I feel like it opened a lot of doors for you and I feel like it gave you a lot of um, confidence. I feel like it, it helped to build you up. Like it gave you a lot of confidence, but I feel like in this moment right now, I feel like you're questioning, do I continue forward or do I close the door? Because she's standing there with her bags and she's looking at that dilapidated, um, I feel like something fell apart with this. Yeah. I feel this big shift of energy. Like I feel this excitement. I feel this happiness. I feel like this new beginnings. I feel like things are motivated. Things are moving. Things are successful. You're feeling good. And then all of a sudden, I feel like in this moment that you're feeling right now, I feel like you're, you're trying to decide, do I keep going? Like things were working out here, but then all of a sudden everything shifted and like you shut down. And then it was like, you're feeling confused and you're like, well, what, what do I do? Do I, do I pack my bags and leave or do I continue? Do I keep going? Do I keep moving forward? And I feel like you're questioning that. And I almost kind of feel like, are you overthinking it? But I feel like something happened for this shift because this feels really happy and really energetic. So this is, this could be something that you, that you've, so I'm kind of feeling two things here. Is there something in the past that you started and it was going really good? And you were enjoying it and it was working out really great. And now all of a sudden there's this shift of energy that maybe something's triggered you and now you're questioning everything. Or you're struggling with starting something new because you're really questioning, can I really achieve this? Can I really go for it? Can I really make this? And you're putting all of these questions and these self-doubt in yourself. And so right now you're looking at, do I go with what I feel that I can do and what I want to do or or do I not even try at all right do I hold myself back and do I not even try at all at all and um do I just move on from this situation especially with these two cards here I feel that um could because she's moving on here and then this is moving on here I almost feel like you're like which direction do I go in and you're like well do I go for this or do I not go for this um That's something that, that you have to decide within yourself and and you have to, it's almost, I almost feel like you're working against yourself here 
and you're you're you have this great idea or you have this this venture or this thing that you want to accomplish and do but i feel that you want to take actions on something but i almost feel like you're talking you're finding reasons not to do it and you're holding yourself back from it um but what you have to explore is why are you doubting yourself? Why why do you feel that you can't accomplish something? To me, I feel like, to me personally, I feel like it's better to try something and fail because then you've learned something about the situation that you said. So you've learned that, okay, I went for it, that didn't work, you know, but I learned something for it that I didn't give up, that I felt that that was something that I wanted to try or I wanted to do, but I need to shift and go in this other direction. I need to do something else that I would, you know, rather than making excuses and saying, well, I, I don't even want to try because I, I don't even want to put myself in that situation because in case I fail, then I'm, then I'm going to just feel awful, but not see that as something that is to make you stronger. You're seeing that as something to, to, to make you weaker. So it's all about your perspective and, and what you see this challenge is, right? Um, and, and how you perceive that. It's not, I'm not saying that it's going to fail, but I feel like that's what is the worry there is that it's, it's your, you, it may fail or failing at something. Or that if it was something that really was working out great and now it's it's kind of falling apart or something's triggered you and like this negativity has come in that you're seeing that as a fail but it's like you know do I keep going but it do I keep going or, or do I move on and just making that choice what is best for me I feel like in this future energy is like just be careful about the people that you surround yourself with with the six of pentacles because he's holding the dice behind his back and he has his hand out and then she's has her hand out but she's giving flowers so she's returning it so I feel like just be make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that are there to support you and I kind of feel like the choice that you make here kind of really shows you who who you can rely on, who you can trust, who's on your side, um, who's really there to support you, and who's not, right? Who's on your side and who's not, who you can trust and who, who you can't trust. Um, I kind of feel like there's, there's a reveal here. I feel like there's some clarity that comes through and I feel like it's trusting your intuition for it, that if you have this feeling inside is to not ignore that but to go with that feeling and maybe that's what this lesson was here right is to say to go with your gut and go with what you feel and don't doubt yourself if you feel that there's this this, this thing that you want to try is to go for it and don't hold yourself back from it and if if you're feeling inside that this is what you want to do but to make sure that you're in the frame of mind that no matter what happens, that I'm proud of myself for moving forward and taking on this challenge and not holding myself back. But I feel like maybe there's someone around you that is trying to hold you back or question you from it. But I feel like something's definitely going to be revealed to you over here with this. You're going to see who you can trust and who you can't trust. Sometimes those are hard lessons for us to learn because sometimes we feel like we can trust people, but, you know, their actions are showing, you know what, you know, with situations and choices that we make, are they there to support us or, or do they, do they abandon or leave us or do they change when, if we're changing, they're not changing with us or they don't like our changes. So I, I feel like that's what this challenge is, is, is that, you know, you, you find out who's your friends and, and who's, who's not. Those are always hard, hard lessons to learn and they're not fun, but it's better to realize that rather than be in a false belief. All right, so I'm going to grab an animal oracle. I feel like this one wants to come out. Oh, look at that. We have chameleon spirit. Very interesting. That's what I was saying. Is somebody changing their colors? Is somebody changing? Is somebody changing to just blend in with a situation? Ooh, the chameleon is revealed. <laughs> right? Wow. Okay. So I I feel like someone shows their true colors. Someone shows their true self to you. So I feel like. You need to do what you feel in your heart is best for you and not hold yourself back. And that shows 
who's a chameleon who's just trying to blend in who's really being you know but also that could be within yourself right are you just trying to do things to blend in with other people or, or do you want to stand out and do your own thing are you do you feel that it's like you feel more comfortable if you kind of put things at a loss for yourself just to blend in with other people or situations or do you feel uncomfortable if you step out of your comfort zone and step out of your right you release yourself and you go on your own path does that make you feel uncomfortable and have you been that chameleon always trying to blend in but not really really feeling satisfied within your life because you've just always been trying to blend in but now is your time to stand out and step up to the plate so lots, a couple different things going on here, but definitely some, uh, the chameleon is revealed. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.